What is up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is your friend, your buddy, the fucking guy, Nova Slaughter. Uh, anyway, long time no listen. Uh, what I got today for you is a interesting commentary. The subject is the locust, and what I like to think of is the heart of the Gears of War storyline. So if you're interested, just sit back and relax and listen to this theory I obtained from the Epic Games forums. Uh, I say theory, but really it's more of a truth because it's becoming widely accepted among fanatics of the storyline. I know most of you just love the multiplayer gameplay, like me as well. But uh, let's talk about the storyline aspect for just a bit. So if you're interested, just uh, like I said, just sit back and listen to this. The forum post I'm talking about was made on the Epic Games forums about a year ago. Basically, this uh, guy put together a large compilation of information from all the Gears games, books, and other storyline releases of the franchise. I think there was like a comic as well. Uh, he put things together with a little reason and figured out the Gears of War storyline. The most important aspect he figured out, in particular, was what the Locusts are. Now, you may have always thought the Locusts are aliens, or I don't know what you thought. Maybe you didn't even play the storyline to the games, and maybe this is kind of new to you. I, I don't know. But, but here's something that really makes sense to me as someone who has actually played all the games and read a couple of the books. Uh, he titled the thread something like Origins of the Locusts, which is, I'm going to title this video that... Uh, his original post was about three pages long. Most of it was quotes and evidence to support his overall theory, which I'm about to go over. What he said, I'll start off with, um, if you remember in Gears of War 2, if you played that, there was a lab uh, where these strange things called sires were that the scientists uh, there were working on. They uh, found all sorts of mutation experiments, and the sires were actually mutated humans due to emulsion. Now, it's very important here to point out that uh, he says emulsion is always evolving because it's a living organism, like Dr. Phoenix said in Gears of War 3. So... Back when this lab was first created, emulsion was turning people into sires and uh, not giving them the rust lung disease that they uh, did by the end of Gears 2 and then the Gears 3. Uh, he goes on to say that the offspring of these of these uh, sires are the standard locust or the locust drones, if you will. Uh, if you remember in Gears 2, it was mentioned that the scientists moved to Mount Kadar. Um, he's, he, the, the guy that made the theory states that Mira is a descendant of one of these scientists, and she became fascinated with breeding locusts to create genetically superior beings. So if you know all those strange locusts, like the, uh, the, the, the what was what some crazy ones, like the maulers, boomers, I mean, corpsers even, um, basically Mira is uh, like a mad scientist, and she's been genetically modifying um, mutated humans, essentially into those things. Um, if you remember Gears 2, they were saying people were being processed. I mean, I guess they were using their bodies and doing, like, some weird science to them and shit. And they're basically using emulsion as a catalyst for uh, these mutations. But, of course, we later know that emulsion um, is evolving, so it ended up becoming a problem and is what caused uh, le regular locusts to turn into lambent. And then uh, the lambent, obviously, aren't even on the side of the regular locusts, so they tend to be a problem. And then, of course, due to the Lambent uh, going insane and attacking the regular Locust, Mira called um, Dr. Phoenix to help her save her creations, which we all know was unsuccessful and brought about her campaign to destroy humanity, which in time failed at the end of Gears 3 when Marcus stabs her with a knife after all the Locusts are destroyed because all the Locusts contain Lambent cells, which I'm going to go on in just a second. So the second chunk of this guy's theory, um, it wasn't connected to this, but it's, it's a big-ass thing on the Cantus. Uh, his main point was how the Cantus are able to heal the Locust. Uh, basically going with the fact that Locusts are basically far mutated generations off of humans with this mutation having the catalyst of emulsion means that all Locust cells contain emulsion, although not enough to make them lambent, and even a precursor emulsion that made them the mutants they are. Basically the Cantus are able to interact with the emulsion cells of regular Locusts and give them regenerative abilities. Kind of like if you put a sponge in a blender, it'll form back together. It's just really weird comp compilations of cells that are from other organisms that ended up creating what they are. It's very strange stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm actually in college for uh, biology. I find this really interesting theory. Uh, I think it's probably the best one out there. Uh, I would definitely say that if you're going to believe anything about the locust, definitely believe this because it's this guy did a lot of work on it and it makes a lot of sense. Um, but basically, the main thing we're getting here is that locusts are basically engineered humans with a mix of emulsion over generations. But um, of course, this emulsion ended up mutating out of control and uh, creating the lambent. But, um, so basically we get that Mira's a mad scientist and she fucked up things and tried to get Adam to help her. Adam wouldn't, or he, not that he wouldn't, he couldn't, because, um, he, he confesses at the end that he was, um, he was really saddened by the fact that he wasn't able to save both the locusts and the humans, um, at the same time. So he ended up only saving the humans, which was the only thing he could do. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Um, I thought I'd make this video as sort of a remembrance of the locust in multiplayer, because obviously we know that it's only going to be human versus human now and traditional versus. But um, we'll have overrun for the locust. Uh, you guys take it easy.